Otterbrunn, Germany. At this IAGB clean room, Sentinel-6 is ready for final testing, after which the satellite will be shipped to the US for launch in 2020. Like all the Sentinel satellites, Sentinel-6 is part of the European Union's Copernicus program, which is the largest Earth observation program in the world. But for this satellite, ESA and the EU have joined forces with a number of other partners, such as UMETSAT, NASA and NOAA, benefiting from each other's expertise. Sentinel-6 is a perfect example how we are working together with various partners in Europe, but also with the United States. Uh, Sentinel-6 uh, has uh, uh, major contributions of the European Space Agency. Uh, the first satellite is funded to the majority by ESA member states, but also by the European Commission and also by UMETSAT. And these three partners in Europe, together with our respective member states, are the European cooperation on Sentinel-6 in particular. Then we have a very strong cooperation with NASA. Uh, NASA is providing about the same amount of uh, funding uh, to the satellite as Europe. Uh, they're providing very important aspects, uh, instruments uh, to the satellite itself, but also they offer a launch uh, on there with their launcher capabilities in, in the United States. So really, Sentinel-6 for me is a model case how we can work together successfully within Europe, but also Europe with the United States of America. And I think this is really a success story. The Sentinel-6 mission will consist of two identical satellites that are launched sequentially. They each carry a radar altimeter to provide high precision measurements of ocean topography on a global scale. This information is essential to monitor changes in sea level, one of the key indicators of climate change. With many millions of people living in coastal regions around the world, sea level rise is a very serious issue. Mapping up to 95% of the Earth's oceans every 10 days, Sentinel-6 can also be used for operational oceanography. It will offer important information on ocean currents, wind speeds and wave height, all of which are extremely important for maritime safety. To properly measure ocean topography and sea level rise, Sentinel-6 will fly in a particular orbit and its data will be combined with information from other Sentinels to complement its measurements. Sentinel-6 is on what we call a reference orbit, which is designed to, to avoid in particular the effect of tides on the measurement. So therefore the orbit is inclined over the equator is not the typical polar orbit and being inclined we cover about two-thirds of, uh, of the complete globe uh, every 10 days and uh, this also indicates we need to have other satellites on the polar orbit to reach a complete coverage of the Earth and typically the Sentinel-3 mission will uh, together with Sentinel-6 uh, cover the whole Earth. At an orbit altitude of around 1,300 kilometers, Sentinel-6's lifespan is limited to five years. But by flying both satellites consecutively, the mission will provide data for over a decade. It will continue the long-term data sets on sea surface height that have been gathered since the 1990s by the French Topex Poseidon and the Jason missions. It is crucial to continue these measurements for climate research as they offer insight into the causes and effects of sea level rise, benefiting citizens across the globe and providing information to face future challenges. Sentinel-6 and Copernicus in general benefits not only the citizens of uh, Europe, but the citizens all over the world. If you would ask what is the most important challenge for the next generation for our children, probably the single most important political question they will have to face is how to live on a planet where the resources become scarce, it becomes limited due to the uh, population growth. And therefore monitoring the resources, controlling the resources, is not just an academic exercise, but really something which is a political priority for everyone, especially when you look further into the future to the next generation. With water covering two-thirds of our planet, monitoring our oceans with Sentinel-6 from space is a necessity. The mission is also an important addition to the world's largest and most integrated Earth observation program, Copernicus, 
which plays a key role in taking the pulse of the planet we all call home. <laughs>